Back it up for me, back it, back it up for me. Back it up for me, back it, back it up for me. So welcome back to my channel guys today i'm here to do a try this new method out for you guys i've been seeing this on social media so much and here on youtube so i said let's go let me go ahead and try it out as you can see from the title i'm trying the ball cap method of applying a lace wig well today i'm using a lace front wig and we're gonna see if this works so the major product that we're gonna need for this is or got to be gel gel guys not glue so as you can see i'm just taking this to just lay my edges down before i jump into you know covering everything with my wig cap the wig cap is what i actually is what is actually used so we pull that right down over everything and as you can see i have the tan color this is the darker color because i feel like this was um closer to my skin color so yeah so yeah um the next step is just after pulling it over i'm gonna take more of the same got to be gel and um you know i use the bottom the bottom portion of my toothbrush to kind of just spread this onto it and i apply it from ear to ear now guys we we have to get our dryer for this and i set this on cool air guys i had to speed up this portion for you guys because it took like our own 25 minutes to dry okay and you need to make sure that each layer is dry before packing on more because it's just going to take longer so now i'm applying my second layer all right and as i said each layer before you proceed to the next step you need to make sure it's dry so i have to take my blow dryer again and i have to you know be just running that over so this took me like another 20 like 20 minutes guys this is no joke i recommend that you try this if you're interested in trying this you go ahead and do so on a day where you don't really plan on going anywhere or you can do it like in the morning if you plan on going out in the night because trust me it will take some time all right but yeah so this is how it looks when it's dry i only applied two layers so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut off the excess portion of the wig cap and as you can see, the, the portion that we apply the gel is well secured. And that that is the aim. Um, I would have applied the got to be spray, but every store I went to was totally out because that would have definitely, you know, given it a super extra hold. But I feel like the gel alone did pretty well. I was pretty amazed because as I said, this is my first time trying this method. And so far I can only say that it take really long. <laughs> um, with the air portion. I wasn't supposed to make it um i wasn't supposed to cut it so far but at least i know now so next time i will be sure to pull it down a little bit more to pull down the wig cap a little bit more so i have a little bit more of the wig a little bit more of the material right there at the air portion but you know i still made it work and you want to make sure that you cut really close to where the gel is so that you don't have too much excess cap hang hanging off so what i did for the little parts that were rolling up on the sides and such i took more of my got to be gel and i'm kind of just sealing off everything okay you want to make sure that everything is super laid and flat and like almost just you know melting into the skin that's what we're going for because after all i didn't even remember to explain to you guys this method is actually supposed to ensure longevity of how long you have on the, the wig so this is for my people who want to wear the wig longer and not have to apply glue and also to give it a more realistic look you know that's what i got from the research that i've done okay so yeah i'm no professional hairstylist i'm just out here experimenting <laughs> so i'm now taking my face powder and you know just to further blend everything and as you can see i'm tired yeah <laughs> this is a tiring process and now i'm gonna take my my wig and this is my my rpg hair wig that i used in my previous hair video this is a deep wave virgin brazilian hair glueless lace front wig okay and this is actually 
14 this is 18 inches long i think in my previous video i put 14 inches in my description box that was a mistake i'm so sorry it's actually 18 inches long all the details on this wig will be in the description box guys please check it out i love it so much i did comb it out so that's why you know it looks so big but yeah so i proceeded to adding some more got to be gel this is like what the fifth layer of got to be gel and then I just allowed this to get tacky. I didn't dry this down because this is what the wig will stick to, okay? So, I'm just pulling that down over that. Just securing everything in place. And then I'm taking the end of my toothbrush to further just push everything in. So that it is completely secured. Now that we're done with it, I'm just kind of, you know, combing everything back. And if I need to push it down anymore... I'm just doing that. You see, how, I, I'm not going to lie. At this point, I was pretty amazed because guess what? It kind of look more realistic than on a regular basis. I don't know. I kind of just like how flat everything was looking. You know, so I feel like, you know, there was a bit of difference there. And I was not mad at all. Now I just move on to the section where I'm just making my baby hairs. That's totally optional. You don't have to. As you can see, it looked pretty natural without even before I even went ahead and started doing the baby hairs. So if you want to skip that step, it's definitely up to you. You know, and I use more got to be gel to do this portion as well. Okay. No, this method is perfect, you know, just if you want to pull your hair totally, like all of it back and stuff. And I was just parting it here to show you that, you know, your partings will look very realistic, you know. The wig cap beneath makes, you know, everything a little bit more natural looking. So... I was very pleased at this point I was done with the whole baby hair portion and I just wanted everything to just lay a little bit more so I went ahead and secured it with a piece of fabric and I proceeded to just do my makeup off camera um yeah I was pretty happy with how everything was going here and yeah then I came back of course with my face fully done it's a simple beat guys something very simple and i proceeded to just taking the fabric off and this is what we have <laughs> so i was definitely pleased everything looked totally melted into my skin right here i'm just showing you guys my mousse this is the smooth and shine polishing um ultra style body fine mousse and this is what i um I'm, pl I'm applying into the hair i wanted to give it that wet look again you know just revive the curls and just make everything look super you know oh no snatched so <laughs> that's all i was doing here just re just refreshing the waves and such but that was pretty much it for the ball cap method it's feeling even more secure than on a regular basis it looks melted into my skin it looks very realistic you know looking at the lace portion it does look a little bit more like skin so i'd say if you ask me if I recommend this method, I definitely do. It's very time consuming though. So I'd say I would do this method like, you know, you have those events coming up and you want to look super snatched. Or you have a certain occasion that we're going to be out of town for a couple of days and you can't deal with taking off your wig and reapplying it. I feel like this is perfect for that. So yeah, I definitely give this method a thumb up. Some people might not like it just because of the time it takes and all of that. But I feel like it's worth it. You know, if you have the time and you're willing to try, go for it. <laughs> um, uh, and look at the wig. The wig is so gorgeous, guys. Don't forget to use my code, Petite. 10 and to 15 if you're interested in getting getting this wig off rpghair.com all right i always have codes for you guys check out the details on it as well in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next video so until then 